Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. I want to cover some, I was going to do some shorts, but I can't quite figure out how to make it work. I was going to do some videos, I'll have to upload them later. Um, so what I want to do is give you ideas for camping, okay? And one of the first ideas or principles of the Ozark Plateau, the, you know, my, my ideas on camping and surviving what's coming, everything has two uses, okay? So I have a box here that I... Some tortillas came in, but it had a little flap open here, so I started stuffing all my grocery bag in it. Well, now that's one thing that's a second use for that. It could also be fire starting material, but it's more valuable as holding bags. So, another idea is I have the same idea here is I got a big box here that had a you know kind of opening, so I used it to collect leaves. It had a lip there on two sides, so I tore this one off earlier, but. You know, I can get stuff a lot of leaves in there, kind of stay in there. The tension holds them in. So there's a storage container for leaves. And the next thing is something else, double purpose, is um, a stock pot that I have. I love this thing. It's, it's got two handles on it for carrying it. I just put a bag in there, a grocery bag that I saved from that little box, and I can stuff leaves in that. And they can tie it up. It keeps them fairly waterproof, keeps them contained. And you can stuff the whole thing in a, on top of a fire or in a stove. Plastic is petroleum product, so it melts and burns, and it drips down, so it helps start the fire. If you buy those ready-made, you know, go to Walmart and buy um, fire starters. A lot of me, I tried to tear one open one time, and it said, just like the package. Okay, the package is plastic, so it melts and it burns. So, same idea here. Don't don't throw stuff away. Uh, don't throw your trash away. Everything is burnable. Use it. For fire starter. Here's an you know, eBay box, Amazon eBay package or whatever. Use them. Paper plates, use them. Use anything that's burnable. Don't don't throw it in the trash. We have this, you know, we're addicted to doing stupid things in this country and wasteful things. We throw everything away. We gotta throw it in the big trash can and stuff it full of boxes that you don't even break down. If you're gonna throw a box in the trash can, break them down at least. But anyway, in this one, I'm gonna stuff a few of these. I'm going to try to keep this short, so I'm going to try to upload it as a short or whatever. So, what I do is I just put that down, and then I just start stuffing these in. I don't want to break them up. It's going to get noisy. But... Oh, well. I have knives in there. I want to crush them up a little bit. There's twigs in here, too, so I want to keep the twigs in there. I don't want to break them down so they don't puncture the bag too bad. about three inches or so. Quite a few twigs in here and that's good. Good fire starting material. You need three things to start a fire. Air, combustible material, and an ignition source. So what you have here you want to have airflow. You don't want to crush it flat. You know, you don't want to crush them down to nothing because then they're just powder and they won't have airflow. So you want to maintain airflow in there. So I'm going to tie this off like a shoelace. Get good at it. You can do it really fast. I didn't do it that time. Okay. Get that around. Get that around there. Get my finger through it. Pull it through. Smash it down. Tie it off. I don't have to do this, I can just double knot it, but I, I'm just so used to doing this and it's good practice to do it. That way I can open it later if I want to put something else in. There I got one. I'm going to do one more because that's about all I got here. Where'd my box go? Over here. I got a bad bag in here, so I'm not going to use it because it doesn't have a handle on it. I'll just stuff it in there. Quite chilly out in the wind flowing. Of course, it had to pick up right when I started, but oh well. Wah.
three old cans of Zippo. There's some left in that. Probably use it. That big box is two grocery bags. So I'll know that for future reference. Pull this out, knock it down. Now I can use this as a workbench. See? Very quick short. Fingers don't work as well when it's cold. Oh well, life is hard. Get used to it, deal with it. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. I did it, I will not. Shame on me. I'm gonna leave it, I don't care. So I got two bags of grocery bags over the leaves. That's good. That'll do me for now. Put that away. Put that in there. Of course, that pot, I can put water in and heat it to keep it warm. Another double use thing here is um, that rack there. It's like the back for a pickup. Let me get this off of here and you can see it better now. I'm going to quit this one. The stainless steel table there is a, obviously a countertop that I got somewhere. And then that thing there is a back of her pickup. And one time it's stainless steel and Bill's like, I don't know, I tried to give some F something they wanted, didn't fit their pickup. He said, I'm going to have a hard time giving that away. So I grabbed it. And to me, it's a wood rack. I had this full of wood. And this, this the countertop keeps it, keeps it dry. So it's my countertop workbench. Rock was using it as a workbench. It worked out really well for that. That's a sauna. A sit-down sauna. The frame for it. We had the cover for it. But, you know, you just... That's a wood rack, too. That was full of wood. It's all gone now. When Rock got here, we used it up. Burned it up. So no big deal. Anyway, so that, that that's double use for that. Double use for that. Double use for that. You know, double use for the bucket there. I use it as a workbench. Um, work surface. So, all right. That's about it. So... So let me say this, if you're pulling to a campground, this could, could be anywhere, sorry for the movement, could it be anywhere, okay, anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, but you pull into a campsite, get out your storage of bags, your grocery bag, don't throw them away, don't ever throw them away, they're fire starting material, they're perfect for it, because they drip, you'll see that when I start the stove up in here, so you get the kids busy with collecting leaves in a big bucket, like bucket or a box like that, you know, just stuff it full of dry, dry leaves, you know, preferably, and twigs, and you know, get a rake and scrunch up all the dry twigs and leaves and whatnot, break them into little pieces and stuff them in grocery bags. And then you get your instant ready to go fire starting material. You can flatten that out and stick it in this. This is a really tight fit in my stove because it's a, you know it's a very long profile stove. It's I've seen it, I've done videos on it before, but you'll see that in a little while here. I'm probably gonna fire it up here today maybe. So anyway, that's about it. All right. Um, get your kids, you know, have something for them to do, and that's one thing they can do is pick up twigs and leaves, rake them up, get them in the box ready to go, and start get a bucket or something like that. That steel, that stock pot is perfect because it's stainless steel. I can I can put water in it, put it on the stop of the stove, keep the place warm, humidify it because the wood wood stove dries out your air, so you want to have some water source in there, you know, a tea kettle or something with water in it. So, um, but you get that. Put something like that, this, just the size of a grocery bag, and you start stepping it full of leaves and then tie them off like I did. So there you go. That's something for the kids to do, and it'll really help start a fire, especially if it starts raining. You can throw that on the fire, and it'll, it'll keep the leaves in it dry, the twigs and leaves in it dry. And while it's, while it's um, burning, it'll melt and drip down into the wood. So get it going. Okay, thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.